Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Also on person YouTube channel, link in the description below. I think a week or so or whatever ago. It's called Jaffe Ratnalu. Sure. sure. Close sure. enough for hand grenades. <laughs> Jaffe Ratnalu. Jaffe Ratnalu. Here. Hmm. Jaffe Ratnalu. Translated, Jewels of the Nation, is a 2021 Indian Telugu language comedy drama film written and directed by Anudeep Kibi. The film stars Navi and Polishetti. Priya Darshi and Rahul Ramikrishna and Fadia Abdullah while Murali Sharma, Brahmanadam and Nadish play supporting roles. The plot follows three happy-go-lucky men who arrive in the city for a better life but land up in jail for a crime they didn't commit. It's a Telugu film right. as well. So, uh, happy-go-lucky men. I love it. Happy-go-lucky. It's a great term. What? He's a happy-go-lucky kind of guy. I just think that means they're like stupidly optimistic. You would. Yeah. Yeah. I don't take it as an endearing term. I do. Uh, He's happy go lucky. Mm -hmm. He's an idiot who just thinks everything's good. Yeah. No. Everything sucks. Just not that. <laughs> Here we Great go. Shirt. Everything sucks. <laughs> just know that. <laughs> On the back. Yeah. Everything sucks. Just know that. You'd wear that shirt. Here we go. It says, did they change the release date since they released the trailer, or is it already in theaters? Because it said the release date there was March 11th. Oh, it might already be in theaters. Yeah. Maybe we... That looks cute. Looks like it could be quite funny. Yeah. Um, it looks like stuff we could actually get, is what I'm saying, because we've... Have we... We've tried some current comedies. I I think we're getting better. I really do. Part of it, well, for example, part I, of it I is older is, is more difficult, especially oh, if it's yeah. not like just stupid, like the, like the, some of the scenes we've seen. If it's not sure. like stupid slapstick or just stupid, but if it's like 
Bull Bull with Akshay, and if that, if that was supposed to be hilarious, obviously we didn't understand why at all you would think that was hilarious. Or um, Galabo Satabo, I think a lot of people thought was funny, mm -hmm. and uh, it wasn't very funny it to us. It wasn't very funny to us. True. Um, so. But, but like watching this, I noticed there's some things we've become acclimated to, we've gotten used to, that when we first started watching it, like when he said, um, you bloody idiots, uh, certain vernacular and ways that they say things that we thought were just an originally we were like okay that's a weird affectation i don't know why you're saying it that way mm -hmm. and you realize that's just that's how they say that and yeah you're used to it now so yeah. i think i think we're a bit more likely to appreciate the comedies now than ever before yeah but but i agree i don't think we're anywhere near yet fully grasping them yeah yeah well, not yet uh... it's a gamble when we watch a comedy that's for sure yeah and maybe one day we'll watch a some more masala films apparently we've, we've watched a couple but i don't think i because some people said cholet was a masala film some people said three idiots was a masala film and then war is a masala film and so i'm like pink are, love so essentially what they header, say it means header. i mean that for sure is like it's a mix of genres is what they say that's my understanding but is that's that a like, lot of indian film that we've seen yeah that i don't consider masala Right. I thought it was more like, it's very over the top, it's fun, but it's like, leave your brain at home, kind of. Right. So I think war, except for, I think most masalas are supposed to be kind of like humorous and lighthearted. And yeah, that was it's taking a, itself very seriously. Right, but if you're talking about a, it being a mix of genres, war doesn't fit that criteria. Because war kind of stuck to its, it's an action film. But it has big dance numbers, I guess, I don't know. But I think you know, most Indian films that aren't artsy have been dance numbers in them. Dance numbers. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I'm still kind more of like it goes from like Kambalaji Nights where you're watching this film, spoiler alert, and then it take, it goes off the rails. Yeah. It changes genre in a big way. Uh, but I that's only toward the yeah. yeah. Uh, try not to spoil it for those of you who haven't seen it. So I don't I honestly I still don't feel safe no saying or knowing what a Masala film is. And not it. saying that this one is. This is just a comedy maybe and there, I'm interested. Maybe there's not like a, a, a strict definition. I will say this. I'm a little hesitant to watch a comedy that's got a two and a half hour runtime. Is that two and a half hours? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I understand. Kind of normative. You got to have an interval. I get it. But. But it, we have. How long was Deli Belly? The, I don't remember the runtime. If it was two and a half hours, then rock on. Or English of English, because I consider that a rom-com. Yeah. Deli Bailey is probably the... F By far, the, that's the one we like the most. And in got terms the of most. comedy. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely the one we... But I forget see it, runtime. What else we've seen of Daily comedies? Uh, but I Ho, but that wasn't as funny as... I consider Street a comedy. Yeah, Street a dark, a dark comedy. comedy. A dark comedy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no. The, see, two Deli hours. Belly was under two hours. Under two hours. Hour 43. Hour 43. Well, this looks good, though. Yeah, uh, So if it's out, let us know how it is. Is it a comedy that we could uh, we could wrap our heads around? Uh, if you've seen it, you know. Where does that phrase come from? What? Wrap your head around it. You can't wrap your head around something. Obviously, it's not physically wrapping. Clearly. I think it's more like your mind. You can't wrap your mind around anything either. Well, you could. You just like, cut it up. You can't even touch your mind. You could, and you shouldn't. You can touch your mind? You can drill a hole when you're... So you think the mind and the brain are... The, we're getting now metaphysical. The mind and the brain are just completely... Well, the head? Inseparable? The mind and the brain as well. <laughs> <laughs> Our stupid reactions. <laughs> uh, anyways, let us know how this film is. Uh, what should be the next to film? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs>